Okay, by now you should have uh, been able to set up your credentials file as I illustrated in the previous video. Now we're going to open up a Jupyter Notebook. Um, if you don't uh, know what a Jupyter Notebook is, um, I suggest um, looking that up. Uh, it's a pretty easy or pretty um, friendly GUI to type in Python. If you have uh, something else, uh, such as uh, you're using it on your terminal, uh, you can try running IPython for better visualizations, or if you have Spider or something else, feel free to use that. It shouldn't vary so much. Uh, use the environment that you're already comfortable with. Okay, so the first step is that we want to um, call in our modules and um, basically uh, go ahead and import Bot03 and Pandas. And you can run that by hitting uh, Shift Enter. Uh, next, we want to establish a session using Bot03. Uh, so we're going to call this variable session equals Bot03, call the session method, and our profile name uh, refers back to our credentials file. So if you notice, we gave it the, if you remember, we uh, gave it the label of S3 uh, underscore dev. And so that's what it's going to use to uh, go back into our AWS credential file uh, right here. And um, pull out the uh, data itself, S3 dev, and it'll bring and it'll uh, read back these keys automatically for you. Uh, the purpose for doing that is that uh, if you're going to publish the script or put it in production, you don't want, you don't necessarily want to um, di divulge your credentials or expose them rather. Okay, cool. So now that we have connected, we didn't get an error thrown, so that means we successfully connected to our S3 bucket. Uh, we want to list out the buckets that are available uh, in our S3. So we'll say, we'll type in some commands to uh, list out our buckets. And uh, don't mind this, this is just uh, kind of a shortcut um, A text or auto key uh, program that I have installed on Linux. Um, for Mac, you can use A text, I highly recommend it. So you can type fewer keystrokes. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to hit Shift Enter and run this. Oops. Uh, should have run my previous cell, so let me do that. Here we go. And the information that I get back is some uh, is basically stored in a JSON object. So if you notice here, I think I got some HTTP headers. Uh, we can ignore that. That's probably not too important uh, for our purposes anyway. Uh, the thing that we are looking at though is buckets. Okay, so which buckets are available to me? And so I see that this bucket name here is what is available to me. So um, what I want to do is I want to actually um, query that particular bucket for its contents. So let's do that next. And we'll say list. Um, uh, we'll use the list object method. So um, just to kind of recap, uh, dev S3 client equals our session client. We're grabbing our credentials from here. Uh, we're going to list out our buckets, OK? Um, and we get back this particular data. Um, that's what this uh, method did for us. And now we're going to list the objects. We want to know what's inside these buckets. Okay. So before I ex actually execute this command, I'm going to uh, switch over to Dragon Disk, which is kind of uh, you know an FTP program similar to CyberDuck on OS X or Max, or uh, if on your Mac, excuse me. And you'll notice that here I have three particular files in my S3 storage. So this is what I hope to get um, returned back to me. Uh, in fact, if I go to my AWS console and go to my S3 service, I will see the same three files noted here. So it's consistent with what I have. This is what I expect to get back. Okay, so going back to here, now I'm going to run and execute this. And wow, great, more metadata. So let's go ahead and look through that really quickly. Um, we have some header, meta, uh, header metadata, uh, but we're, what we're really interested in here is really the, the contents portion of our metadata. Um, and here, as you notice, the company's file is it's in its own key value pair uh, yeah, dictionary or piece of, um, yeah, dictionary. Uh, same thing with the second file, emails.csv and peoples.csv. So like what if I wanted to, you know, store this data locally just to kind of examine what I have 
uh, in terms uh, or I want to save like the uh, the files that I have like in a in a local file or a CSV or I want to do something with that file list or I may want to even iterate so I'm going to save uh, these contents in a variable I'm just gonna call it s for the sake of simplicity so I'm gonna say s equals the output of this particular method okay and so like now what I want to do is like since it's basically a dictionary I'm gonna say um, bring back the con bring back the the yeah well the contents of uh, my contents uh, key so I'm gonna say s contents and if I hit tab it'll auto complete and I'll go shift enter and voila now I have like the section a list uh, of dictionaries in here and um, and just just that that lower section of, of the previous output so if I want to um, use pandas to create a data frame and then later export this to a CSV or or, or work with the data a little easier I can just hit uh, PD data frame as contents of course I would have to save this to a variable if I wanted to uh, actually you know use it later but otherwise um, PD data frame as contents hit shift enter and you see now it's a data frame uh, you know, from here, you can also um, just like, go ahead and export to CSV if you wanted to and file CSV. I'll uh, just put, yeah, file listing CSV and it'll export to a file listing CSV and voila, I have it in CSV format if I, you know, wish to use it later. So um, that's you know pretty much um, you know the, the, not that's not it obviously but uh, there are way uh, there are many more methods uh, obviously to um, you know upload files read files contents but you know essentially you're you're now you're interacting with the cloud you're reading your contents in the cloud you're understanding which files you have available to you you can retrieve those files and do a couple of uh, well anything else that you need to do um, you know for your work but um, that should give you like the core introduction in terms of how to connect and what you need to connect uh, to AWS and start using it with Python. Thank you very much for watching.